Hey everyone, how's it going? Today we're going to be talking about prices and also some TVs have reached a price cheaper than Black Friday and I'll tell you about those TVs in this video a little bit later but let's talk about prices, the price drops and I'm going to show you some actual data that will help you decide when the best time is going to be the cheapest time possible if you are a patient person. Another reason for making this video is I want you guys to be aware of any of the price drops that happen so that you can go to your store and be like, Hey, you see that price? I bought that on Black Friday, but now it's cheaper. So I need that new price. Go ahead and get your price match guarantees. If you did buy it from someone that has that price match guarantee, hopefully you did, you can go ahead and adjust that price. TVs did drop down back to Black Friday prices on some of the models. So you wanna check into that. I guess I'll hover over some of the ones that did really quickly so that you can be aware of which ones dropped. And again, remember if you're buying any of these TVs, please use my affiliate link in the description below to do so. It really helps out the channel and I can't thank you guys enough for doing that. And no pressure on buying. If you are waiting, that's absolutely okay because there is reason to wait if you want to wait long enough. Now let's talk about this waiting period and how realistic it is for some of these TV prices. So we're going to take the C1 for example and where that dropped from its Black Friday price of last year to Super Bowl Sunday and then also into the next year's TV releases. So these are the three main parts that you really want to look at with TVs is that Black Friday is going to be the absolute lowest of that current year model. And then going into the next year, you will have Super Bowl Sunday. And historically, it looks like it is almost the same as Black Friday for most of the TVs. Some exceptions, but most of the time, it is usually the same as Black Friday. So Super Bowl Sunday, not really something you want to wait for for these specific models. But if you're willing to wait just a little bit longer into the next TV's release date, which is in around March or April, and typically it's April where you do see these price drops. Now let's look at the TVs that are back on their Black Friday prices because there's quite a bit actually. Most of the Sony TVs, if not all of them, are on their Black Friday price once again. A lot of the LG TVs are back on their Black Friday price. But I want to make sure you guys know that the exception is to the 77 inch TVs. The 55 inch and 65 inch are back on their Black Friday prices for the C2. But you will note that the 77 is $26.99. Which was not the Black Friday price. It was $24.99. So now we are seeing the 77 inch price match the A80K. So that is just something you want to make sure you are aware of. Now, the 77-inch B2 is back to $2,000, and this is a point in time where I would consider the B2 over the C2 in 77-inch because that's a $700 difference. And if you're buying a TV right now, the B2 is probably going to satisfy most people, especially in that size. And really, like I said before, the difference between these two TVs is comes down to processing. It's not going to be a huge deal unless you're a gamer and you're pixel peeping for some of that posterization because there is not going to be any way to fix that because smooth gradation does not work with LG's game mode. So that's something you want to keep in mind. So I really did want to just give you guys some awareness on that 77 inch size. For me right now, the B2 is the best bet the best buy and that is what I would go with for a $700 difference over the other two in that 77 inch size. I want you to also be aware of that the 83 inch size is not on its Black Friday price. Same thing with the 77 inch G2 and the 83 inch G2 not on its Black Friday price but the 65 and 55 it's actually cheaper than Black Friday so we had a 65 inch G2 going for $21.99 this is actually pretty rare for a TV to be cheaper than Black Friday. Now, another TV that is back on its Black Friday price is going to be the S95B. Now, this is one of the most recommended TVs by me. I really love this TV, as does a lot of other content creators out there. And who can blame them? This is a wow moment TV. When you see it, it makes you say wow. So... Yeah, for $14.49 for the 55 inch, that's back on its Black Friday sale. And then $17.99 for the 65 inch, back on its Black Friday sale. Also want to keep in mind that if you have any of the Samsung discounts that I've talked about in my previous video, you can get some of those deals right now 
So I was mentioning the Sony TVs. Pretty much every Sony TV that was on Black Friday prices are back to its Black Friday price. The X90K, the X95K, and the A95K back to its Black Friday price. Awesome stuff if you wanted a Sony TV. So on some of the TV prices, keep in mind that they are going to be at their Black Friday price only for certain sizes. For example, the QN90B from Samsung, $16.99 for the 65 inch. It was $15.99 on Black Friday, but the 55 inch is $12.99. So that is its Black Friday price. The 85 inch, $32.99. That is not its Black Friday price. It was $27.99 on Black Friday for the QN90B. Oh, so another thing about the QN85B 75 inch is when I was talking about, hey, sometimes Black Friday prices aren't the lowest. Well, this is another case where the 75 inch QN85B is $17.99. Weird, but also cool for people that want the QN85B and also cool for people that bought the QN85B on Black Friday because you can price match it. So when I look at this 75 inch QN85B, I automatically think that this is a amazing deal compared to, let's see, the QN90B. And I thought these two TVs were so comparable. And honestly, $25.99 versus $17.99, if you are buying a 75 inch, buy the $17.99 QN85B over this. But if you are sitting straight on with the QN85B and you're okay with sacrificing just a little bit of brightness, you will have a good TV. Trust me, it's crazy how good the contrast level on the QN85B was compared to the QN90B. I actually thought the colors were slightly better on the QN85B. I don't know how that's possible, but it was. And my buddy Stop the FOMO also says that the QN85B was more impressive than the QN90B in some areas. And he also says it's those areas that I talk about. The contrast level, the colors, it does stick out. And the only thing that QN90B beats it in is going to be the brightness level. So keep that in mind when you're shopping for these two TVs. But if you look at the price comparison now on these two, you are going to see that, yeah, the 75 inch QN85B is a steal. Also, I wanna take a look at that 65 inch G2 for $2,000 compared to the C2 for $1,699. So looking at that, it's not a huge price difference and you're getting a wall mount and a five year warranty with it. To me, you get a better TV with the G2 in this case, it's a no-brainer. To me, I would always recommend the G2 over the C2 at this price level. When you're talking about this kind of comparison, get the G2. Yes, you spend a little bit more, but if you're buying a mount anyway or a five-year warranty anyway, you're going to thank yourself for getting the G2. So I'm going to keep looking into some of these deals, and I'm going to let you know if I see anything that really sticks out to me as going to be cheaper than its Black Friday price. I gotta do some digging, but so far the ones that stuck out were the ones that I mentioned in this video. It can happen. It's rare, but it can happen. The prices are lower than Black Friday for those two TVs that I mentioned in those specific sizes. Remember, it is only in specific sizes, and also remember that the other specific sizes can be overpriced, which means they will be more expensive than their Black Friday price. Hold off. If that is the case, and you may be able to find it going back down to its Black Friday price eventually. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I hope you found it helpful. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'm always happy to answer your questions. If you want to see more TV videos, like some of the side-by-sides that I did, you can check out those videos on my channel, and I'll have one of the side-by-sides right here.